Crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet. And explore the secret world below. With me, Nick on the Rock. The jagged peaks of the Olympic Mountains tower above the deep forested labyrinth of canyons. The sound of rushing water is everywhere. Up to 200 inches of rain and snow fall on this coastal mountain range annually, feeding glaciers in the alpine interior of the range, as well as rivers that drain the lush rainforest below. Presiding above it all, Mount Olympus, the crown jewel of the Olympics. But is Mount Olympus a volcano? Absolutely not. Mount Olympus is not a volcano, and it never was. Instead, it's made out of sand and mud, all those peaks. They were originally on an ocean floor that started diving beneath Washington and we accumulated that deep sea sediment on this hand and added it on to the edge of the North American plate. That's one thing, it's a whole nother thing to take that original deep sea sediment and lift it 8,000 feet above present day sea level. Think the time, think of the energy and the pressure necessary to do that. Until the discovery of plate tectonics in the 1960s, these mountains were a big mystery. We now have a very clear picture on how the Olympic Peninsula was created from scratch over the last 50 million years. The Hurricane Ridge Road from Port Angeles climbs more than 5,000 feet into the heart of Olympic National Park. The 18-mile road ends at a visitor center with absolutely jaw-dropping views of the non-volcanic Olympic Mountain Range. But along the way, at milepost 11, a surprise. Well, wait a minute now, this is basalt. Hurricane Ridge is made out of basalt? These are like the lavas of eastern Washington. But there's a specific difference. This lava is 55 million years old, and much of it is round like this. You see, these are pillow basalts. And pillow basalts are a specific rounded form that form when the lava crackles and flows out into the Pacific Ocean. So we're thousands of feet above the Pacific, but these pillow basalts tell us that this is an ocean story, and then these lavas got added along with all that deep sea sediment that we were talking about moments ago. Hurricane Ridge basalts, these pillow basalts are perfect along the road up to the top of Hurricane Ridge. The basalt of Hurricane Ridge is a major part of the story. It wasn't just deep sea sediment. 55 million years ago, there was a huge island off the coast of Washington and Oregon. We call it Siletsia. Nine mile stack of basalt built off the ocean floor. What's that got to do with the Olympic Peninsula? Well, everything. Because the basalt of Hurricane Ridge and those pillows are a direct result of Siletsia coming in and cramming on to the edge of North America. 50 million years ago, the west coast of Washington was at Seattle. There was no Olympic Peninsula, no Mount Olympus, no Hurricane Ridge. But gradually, since then, tectonic forces have re-sculpted the coast of Washington with millions of tons of ocean floor sediment and a huge basaltic island. The result? A vacation paradise. Today's beautiful and unique Olympic Mountains. 